Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Bond Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Singa 306 series on sewing machine. Okay, so vintage machine made in the, um, the 1960s, uh, there about, yeah, yep, 1960s and um, it's a pretty very strong machine. It has um, different features. Uh, this particular model is 306M and um, I'll just run through the external features and sew the machine so um, you see it work. Alright, firstly this is the tread stand. Okay, it has a tread stand, although it's supposed to be double and um, you can actually use string needle on it. If you look here is the um, disc, it uses this cam unlike the other models. Okay, um, these are this cam. I could get my hand on presently. Um, this is the control for the presser foot. Alright. Well, this is the tension this is the switch for the, um, the zigzag and the straight so it has another zero five okay which you can actually adjust like this all right then um, you have this which is the needle position left right just like that middle um, this is the control for the stitch length indicator and um, this is the bobbin winder obviously so I'm just gonna so the machine so you see it work all right let me try the machine now and i'll sew it thank you okay um before i continue i already treaded the machine so from here down to here down to the tension up to this then this needle to tread carrier down to this loop here the second one then you tread from front to back okay um i forgot to make mention the machine uses a front oscillatory system and um, it uses industrial size um, bobbin okay this is the type of bobbin it uses like this okay and um, it has a belt system which I'll be reviewing in my later videos but I'll just sew the machine now and do some of the um, designs with the disc cams that is available with me right now all right so I already said on straight stitches which is on zero stitch line the widest one and I'll show it is all right yeah have a straight stitch okay I'll show another one with it right now and further just the stitch line so I get two So there's a straight stitch, the back, the front, and I want to sew the zigzag now. Okay, so I already have the disc cam here. Okay, and I will just um, turn this down to a number five. This is the indicator for the um, zigzag. Okay, and let me maintain this at um, 12. You can see as the zigzag the back and as the front um, further reduce the length of the zigzag to let's say uh, this all right So um, that is it. Now I will change the disc cam so I can achieve other design with the machine. All right. Okay. I already changed the disc cam. So there's the other one I'm putting now. beautiful design you see that's for the um, this cam there I'm gonna put another one so I can get another design out of it all right all right I already put in on that disc so I'll show now So 
So that's the design, another pattern, and I'm gonna put the last one, the last the scam, then um, show you other features about the machine that you need to know. Okay, I already changed the disc and I'm sorry with you. it and the back side and the front side so basically if you're working with this machine um, it's a pretty heavy machine strong heavy duty source through fabrics leather um, and lycra spandex stretcher fabric and a whole lot of other fabrics so I would recommend this machine it's very strong pretty strong the build is okay and I like the solid black color and it also has unique features which I'll be reviewing in my other videos and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye.